Amanda Stenberg can't seem to catch a break when it comes to these big franchises. It seems like every time she turns around, the racists come out of the trash. So as you can see, Amanda Stenberg, who is the lead actress of the newest Star Wars show called The Acolyte, once again is dealing with racist trolls calling her show woke and a feminist agenda. Hell, even in my review of the first two episodes of The Acolyte that I posted yesterday, I'm getting comments like, oh, I'm not watching this woke feminist agenda comments all throughout my DMs and stuff like that. And I'm just like, what's woke about this show? The fact that there's a black woman leading the show? The fact that Leslie Headland is a queer woman that's behind Star Wars? Like, what is woke about the show? Just admit that you're racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, etc. Because in terms of the show, there's not really anything in it that is quote unquote pushing an agenda as people say. And that's not even to say you have to like the show. You can watch the show and hate it and that's perfectly fine. But a lot of people that are criticizing and calling it trash didn't even watch it. So you're having an uninformed opinion. And the sad reality, this isn't Amanda Stenberg's first rodeo with this type of racist backlash. If you guys remember during the early days of Twitter for The Hunger Games, when she was cast as Rue, she experienced this type of racism. And I remember one of the tweets that I saw, somebody said something like, is it just me or do you not care about Rue anymore now that she's black? Or somebody said, oh, I connected so much with Rue. I saw her as a sister and the movie ruined it by making her black. Meanwhile, she's black in the books. A lot of times being a black nerd, a black queer nerd is exhausting because you constantly got to deal with dumbass people all the time. And then when you call out the racism, sexism, homophobia, etc., especially in the Star Wars community, you get people like Star Wars Theory, who I really like his videos and I appreciate and respect him, but like you'll get people that, oh, Star Wars fans aren't racist and sexist. What about their love for Ahsoka or whatever? It's like, yeah, maybe they're not racist and sexist and homophobic to you. But tell that to John Boyega, who experienced that when it was revealed that he was in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Those comments that he got. Yeah, people might like Ahsoka and Leia, but tell that to Kelly Marie Tran and the comments that she got when she was cast in The Last Jedi to the point that she had to delete her Twitter. So it might not be all Star Wars fans, but it's enough of them that Star Wars even has the reputation of having the most toxic fandom, whether it's true or not. I mean, hell, just look at the narrative that's going on with Amanda Stenberg right now with this tweet that's going viral where it basically headlines Amanda Stenberg, lead actress for the new Star Wars series, The Acolyte. And then it has the tweet, white people crying was the goal. They're basically trying to conflate that quote with The Acolyte. Meanwhile, this is from 2018, and she was talking about a movie called The Hate You Give, which was literally about racism and police brutality. Don't watch Star Wars if you have a problem with diversity because more is coming.